Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Orogiri. Uh, today's episode is something I've been meaning to bring to you guys since the galas came out, but I um, haven't really found the best timing for it because, um, you know, of other things. Needless to say, today we're going to show you guys how to get the free mount or vanguard from the gala event. So I've had this question asked time and time and time again of how to get it. And I said, I'm going to make a video after once I know how everything works and I'll make one little concise thing. Didn't want to just do it in some random stream. I wanted to really, you know, have this video up there for everyone who wants to know how to get the mount, wants to know how to get the vanguard, you know, um, that's what this video is about and that's who it's for. So where I am is I am in the gratitude gala grounds and by now you should know how to get here. Um, it, it's pretty common. It's pretty, um, Pretty common knowledge nowadays but outside that portal um, at the bottom of the stairs there's a little green crystal right around here you just want to go in that crystal and it's going to teleport you to the gratitude gala grounds so once you're here you just want to go up the stairs and um, you're going to be confronted by Kachikuin who's like hey you're here awesome you go through a huge cutscene and you talk to all the people and you get a bunch of stuff active and you get a bunch of access to a bunch of exchange shops and you're ready to go. So, how do you get um, the uh, gratitude badges needed to get the ticket? So, if we talk to him, this is his exchange shop. He's got lots of stuff in here. I'm going to do a separate guide on that later. But right now, we're just going to focus on the gratitude character exchange ticket. So this ticket is, um, this item can be exchanged for any of the summoner's basket, seer's basket, manifestation, manifestation basket, covenant's basket of your liking in Kinka May's item exchange located in the Gratitude Gala Ground. So, you know, the non coral Punk Girl. And you can only get one of these, so keep that in mind. So one of these will cost you two Gratitude badges. So the minute you come here and you talk to him and you do his quest and you run the Gala one time, the game is going to give you one gratitude badge. Now you can only get one badge a day and they're not automatically given to you. So you have to be very, um, you know, you got to do this every day. You have to be very, I want to say punctual with it, but you have to just be consistent with it. So every day you run the gala on either normal, hard or hell. It does not matter. And you got to click on this. You gives you a gratitude badge collect rewards I'm gonna slow down a little bit to catch my breath Whew. now it says right here this resets every day at midnight so for my time that's 4 a.m. it's for every single person you know but generally if you play the game at any point during the day clear the gala one time take one of these you're good to go make sure you clear it it goes in your present box redeem it etc you are good to go so that's how you get your gratitude badges you can only get one badge a day so once again I stress make sure you grab yours every day so today's the fourth day I've used one of them on an umbrella I have three left all you need are two to get your free vanguard so if you've been playing the event and the gala for at least two days and you've been accepting your rewards you're good to go so how do you get your free stuff like I said before you want to scroll down the bottom of this list and grab the gratitude character exchange ticket it's gonna cost two of your badges just click buy Okay, great. I've exchanged for it. I now own it. And that's the only one you can have. This item does not restock at all. There's no glitches. There's nothing you can do to get this to restock. That's it. That's all. So that's great. So what you're holding in your hand is literally the ultimate ticket. It's, it's better than a legendary ticket. So after you have it, you want to talk to our favorite girl in the world who no one's ever been angry at ever, Kinka May. So Kinkame is the Neon Koropan girl. She says you only get one gratitude character exchange ticket. So please think carefully about you want about what you want to get from the exchange. Okay, so I've been stressing that a lot. So a lot of people ask me, Oro, what ticket should I get? Like what what who should I get with my ticket? You know, exactly. Um They've asked, who do I get? Who do I get? And before I get the ticket that I'm going to grab, I'm going to run you through the options that we have access to. And I'm going to give you my professional opinion on who you should take, depending on your situation. So what we have access to here is Miyamoto Musashi, 
Sasuke, Kimiko, Tritail, Izuna, Miyamoto Dark, Kintoki, Shuten Doji, Oda Nobunaga, Lancelot, Shingen, who it Shingen, Kenshin, Sanzo, Venus, Siegfried, there's a lot of them. Valkyrie, Azura, Kirin, and then you have the three mounts, Ifrit, Fujin, Raijin, and then the partner, Gargoyle. So while I was reading that, I did read any comments, but um, Eva brings up a really good point that there are two, there are three vanguards missing from this lineup. Four vanguards missing from this lineup. Thank you, Sam. So the four vanguards not present in this lineup that have been released on PS4 are Lunastasia, Lunastasia, Red Moon, Ivis, and ho -Oh. Now, ho -Oh isn't here because she's restricted only to when Yogg is around and they want... She's just... You can't get a free ho -Oh scroll. That's just how it is. She's not even in the Yozuru ticket exchange. So ho -Oh is just super strict, lock behind bars... Um, event only. Event only. Um, PS4 doesn't have the other Cosmic Break characters at all, so you cannot exchange for those either. Um, so Luna's not here, uh, Red Luna's not here, Ivis isn't here, and ho -Oh is not here. So those Vanguards that were released on PS4 are not a part of this program, so you cannot exchange for them. Um, so, f you know... Now, Luna isn't really that good, so don't sweat anything about that. And Ivis has her uses, but sadly, she's not here. Um, but what you do have access to are a lot of vanguards. So in my opinion, um, who you take is going to come down to a few principles. It's going to come down to one, personal preference. Who do you want? Like, it's your one free thing. You, need, you can pick anyone you want, so you might as well pick someone you like. Um, the second thing that's going to matter is how many scrolls you have already. If you're a new player and you don't know what a Vanguard is, you don't have anything at all, um, that's going to determine what you pick. And if you're an experienced player and you have most Vanguards, but there's some of them that have eluded you in your rolling struggles, like you have, you know, let's say you have two Oda scrolls, you want to get that Awakening at rank 3 or Awakening 3, same thing with Lancelot or... You have a four to five scroll something or whatever it may be. You just want to try and finish one you're already starting to build towards. Then that's going to determine. That's going to really, really affect your choice. Like if you're sitting there and you have a four scroll Miyamoto, I think you should get a fifth scroll. If you're sitting there with a four scroll Dark Musashi, I think you should get a fifth scroll. You know, if you're sitting there with a four scroll shoot. Um, if you're sitting there with a four scroll. Um, Siegfried, I don't think you should grab a fifth Siegfried. Maybe, but I don't think you should grab a fifth Siegfried. At that point, I would sooner see you grab Fujin, Ifrit, or Raijin, you know? Um, but for the most part, what I've been telling people, like for people that don't have any vanguards at all, they don't know who to pick, a one scroll vanguard isn't gonna, like, it's not game breaking, it's not super OP. So, in my opinion, um,. I've been telling people to grab either Miyamoto Musashi um, or Kenshin as one scroll vanguards. I find Kenshin and Miyamoto are really good even at one scroll because Miyamoto has Flash of Retribution, Eternal War, Death from the Heavens, lots of options, Collapsing Blade 7, really just Flash, Collapsing, um, Flash and Collapsing really and then... Eternal War, you're pretty good. Uh, yeah, but uh, Mr. Livington, there's a portal right up the steps going to Kashinda, and that is where you get to the gala. I showed that at the beginning of the video, but that's that's where you got to go. So you're very welcome. Um, so that said, um, not many vanguards I can really recommend at a one-scroll level. Like Dark Musashi would be okay, but I find Miyamoto is just better overall universally especially if you're just getting started Miyamoto on her own is going to help you get through a lot of things um were I to rank the vanguards that would be really good to grab at a one scroll level I'm going to say 
Miyamoto, you can't go wrong with Miyamoto. If you have nothing, you start with one scroll Miyamoto, you're going to be doing really good for yourself. Um, I think Kenshin is a good number two. And then thirdly, I think Kirin is actually a really good Vanguard. Like a one scroll Kirin, you can just use um, her buff moves and lightning one of her great clash of heavens attack and you'd be fine like you could one trick pony kirin and do fine you could one trick like one scroll kenshin she'll be fine one scroll miyamoto she'll do all right but some vanguards like nobunaga is kind like she no oda nobunaga is really good but at a one scroll level she's missing a lot of her what makes her good so i do not recommend her so that said, if you ha don't have any vanguards and you really, really want a vanguard, my recommendations are Miyamoto, Kenshin, Kirin, Dart Miyamoto maybe, and Lancelot too. Lancelot's a really good option. Lancelot works at one scroll as well. Those would be the top five, I would say. Um, but I say if you're just getting started, you don't know who to pick, Miyamoto, you can't go wrong. Um... That said, if you're in the middle and you're that kind of player who has a lot of scrolls and you just don't know where to pick or you're like, okay, I have a lot, um, you know, I think you should probably want to try to top off a Vanguard. Like, me personally, I have two Oda scrolls. I'm going to get a third scroll of Oda because that's going to give me access to her Awakening and she's going to be really, really strong. Like, that's what I'm going to do. So if you're in that boat, you have two Oda Scrolls, you only got the accessories, or two Lancelots, or whatever it may be, if, if this is an opportunity for you to make what you have better, do it. Now the reason I didn't say, the reason I said if you had a four scroll Siegfried, don't do it, is because Siegfried is kind of a bad vanguard. And Venus isn't a bad vanguard either, but like Venus is mostly a support vanguard for the most part, so I wouldn't really recommend her. Azura is good, but I find his uses are very limited with having fire and mountain. Fire is good, but I find he's not, um, you know, that universally helpful. She, uh, Sanzo, she's a weird little vangirl. I wouldn't worry about her that much. Um, Sanzo, like, unless you have like a nine scroll Sanzo or something and you really like her, I just wouldn't focus on her. Um, Shingen might be good, but from what I've seen, I haven't seen him do really good. At a one scroll level. Shuten, I don't know that much. Kintoki, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, Tritail, I wouldn't. Himiko, I wouldn't. And Sasuke, I would not. You only have Hiraga, then get a... If you only have Hiraga, then... If you have Genai, then I would also recommend um, the mounts. So that's the next thing. And that's a very good point, because everyone has access to Izuna and Genai, especially with all the free OC we're getting. Um... And that is true. Getting one scroll of Sanzo is equal to getting two scrolls. That's a very, very good point. So if you have eight scrolls of Sanzo, you can get her to ten. Um, that's how it is for all vanguards that are like split up into ten scrolls. So on PC's case, you'd have um, Tristan as well in that boat. Tristan would also fit in that boat. But currently on PS4, we only have Sanzo. And it is the androids. That's exactly who I meant. That's right. But on PS4, we only have access to Sanzo. So in Sanzo's case, if you grabbed one scroll of Sanzo, you actually end up getting two scrolls of Sanzo. But the gold ones that Saiyan says are easy to get. So moving forward, um, because Genai and Izuna are really good options, um, and everyone has access to them, especially with all the free OC we're getting, um, if you have nothing, I actually recommend... I would prefer it if you got a mount. I think early game, um, if you're just starting out, even late game, mounts would be amazing. Um, and the mounts you have access to are Ifrit, Fujin, and Raijin. Um, Ifrit, I think, is universally really good. Um, he hits a lot of enemies at the same time. His dash is OP. It's a lot faster than the horse's. Rock is a great move. Um, sure, you're not having the master moves, but I think um, if it, if you don't have a mount, I say grab a mount. You know, if it's if it's a great choice. Um, late game wise, if you don't have a mount and you only need one scroll, I would grab a Fujin. 
Um, I had this discussion with the person who commented the other day, and it was a really, really good discussion. And um, 71's an early game. 71, you're still getting started. Um, but from my discussion is... Ifrit, I find, is really, really, really good at doing dungeons. Now, in some cases, Ifrit can do a boss as well. Like, if the boss stands still, you can hit them and stuff. Um, but from what I've noticed is that Fujin... And I prefer Fujin over Raijin because Wind hits more things. Fujin's type is much, much better on a lot of the bosses late game. And Raijin's a neutral type. So Raijin's kind of in the middle there. Um... But Fujin, I find, is better one-on-one -on, -one on bosses, whereas Ifrit's better off on mobs. And the horses are really good on mobs. They have these mo moves that make balls run around them, and you can just run over enemies. However, those moves cause a lot of lag on console, so I kind of tell people don't use them. But when you're by yourself, they should be fine. Um... So I'd say getting a mount would literally carry you from point... A to like Sado, I guarantee it, as long as you leveled them up correctly. Um, but if you just don't know who to pick, um, if you really want a Vanguard, I say grab Miyamoto or Kenshin. If you really want a Mount, grab Ifrit or Fujin, one of the two. Um, right now in the Neon Coral Pond, there is the Thanks Upon that can use the Thank You tickets, and like every Vanguard's there too. So. If you're farming the Gala and you're trying to farm all those gacha tickets that are free, um, a bit of pro tip if you have the patience is um, to roll is to farm all those tickets. It can be done really, really easily with Fever and all the restores we're getting, even on normal. Um, you know, getting parties with people, just run it and get as many tickets as you can. And if you can get all those tickets, roll them, and then you see yourself getting it's like, oh my god, I got like three Dart Miyamotos or two Odas or something, then you can use this ticket to just grab another one. Well, that's awesome. That's just, you know, perfect. But it all depends on the person. And I know not everyone wants to do that. Some people, they can't really clear the dungeon, They but a mount would make it better. Um, you know, there's a couple choices in there, things that people can do depending on what they want. But um, in my opinion... Um, I think if you have nothing, I think a mount is better than a single scroll vanguard. But in the long run, a five scroll vanguard is better than one mount because mounts have stamina and stuff. But I think in the most part, if you compare it to one scroll vanguard to a one scroll mount, I think mounts are better. So, you know, you can heed my words if you want. You can grab whatever you want if you want. And that's up to you. I just recommend if you want a vanguard, Miyamoto or Kenshin at a one scroll level. And if you want a mount, I say Ifrit or Fujin. Jump over Raijin. Don't worry about him. And let's say you wanted a support Vanguard Gargoyle. Um, Parvis is still free. Her quest is still available and you can still grab her. Um, Gargoyle is great, but I find she's really only good if you yourself are good. So I wouldn't really focus on getting Gargoyle if you have nothing else. Because she's only going to make you better. But a mount is good regardless of your build. So I, I would really recommend that new players grab themselves a mount. Uh, either Fujin or Ifrit. Um, San asked, does the ADOC lineup give us Yozro tickets? It does, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen, yeah, the, the 80 lineup does give Yozero tickets. Because I got a lot of them when I rolled it. Um, it does. Um, so that all being said, hopefully that clears things up for people. They know how to get the tickets. They have to get the um, gratitude toke buttons. Is it a gratitude button? I, I can't remember what they're called, but it's a gratitude badge. From your rewards every day, clear the gala once. Do your achievement. Grab your badge. You're good to go. And then after you have two of them, you can trade it for one of these tickets and grab any Vanguard scroll you like. So hopefully this will help out a lot of people who have been asking that question. And if you see people that are asking that question, they want to know how, then please just send them a little thing. Say, hey, Oro made a video, Rondon Destroyers, on YouTube. Um, he made a video how to get a free mount or Vanguard from the gala. Go check that out. You know, that's, that's what we want here. 
So personally, for myself, what I'm going to grab is an Oda Nobunaga. Since I have two Oda Scrolls and a third one opens me up to a whole new world of damage and possibilities. So, Summoner's Basket, Nobunaga, Exchange Ticket, buy. Exchanged. Cool. Okay, so I'm jumping over here. And let's see what I bought. And there she is. The Oh, wait, what? Where's my scroll? What did I buy? <gasps> it must be in store. Wait, what? Did that not work? Oh, ha, 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 oh my god, so that was me being completely mature and just pulling your guys' leg and saying, um, you know, that's what's going to happen. The scroll actually goes to your lucky box area and um, you have to open it up there because it's a box you buy. So bam, I buy it, Oda Nobunaga summoning scroll. So that's where you get your Vanguard scroll if you get it. I I'm completely lying through my teeth. I had no idea that's going to happen. But if it does happen, now we know where it's going to be. I didn't really notice this. So thank you, Sand. Thanks, Eva. <sighs> wow. I was, I was freaking out. I was like, no. So there it is. Two Oda scrolls. I had one on me before. And now I have the new one. Um, that's fantastic. Cool. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, that said, um, I have already one Oda in here. Yeah, I, I was about to say, like, what? What? I'm like, I'm glad I made a video of this. That's what I was thinking. Um, since I already have one and she's at level 88, she's instantly going to jump to 100. So, I'm going to use um, both of my scrolls here on her right now. Lancelot summoning scroll is missing an apostrophe. Oh, okay. I mean, they happen all the time, mistranslations. So, Oda 1. Nom. Oda 2. Nom. Damn, she's so low. And there she is. Level 100. Awakening level 3. Summon. Bam. Instant Oda. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully it helps you out with um, finding out how to get your free mount or vanguard from the gala. It's really, really easy once you get the hang of the game. And, um, you know, I can't wait to see what people pick, you know. Um, you know, hopefully they help you throughout the game, making those hard bosses just a little bit easier. So... Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this five days of fever we have. I know I am. I'm loving the gala. I'm loving Christmas Dungeon. I'm having a blast of a time. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Enjoy um, you know, what this event has to offer. And uh, hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. See you later. Bye. Bye. A bit of a voice crack there, but bye.